There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, picture corners, and other stuff too. All right, welcome to Greg's Maker Corner. Today I'm going to be going through my next project, which is a Voron 0.1 build. So I'm going to show you some of the parts as well as uh, do an unboxing from the kit that I purchased. All right, this is Greg from the future. As you can see here, I've got the Voron 0.1 built and it's humming along printing its first print. I just wanted to give you a quick preview of that before I get into more details on the kit and background. Voron's been around for a while. Uh, they're kind of known as the best types of DIY printer that's available on the market today. So with that in mind, I, I wanted to see what it was all about without spending too much. Um, and I also really like Core XY, so I didn't want to necessarily do the switch wire printer, uh, which is maybe a little bit more economical. So um, the, other, the other nice thing, the Voron 0.1 is a really small printer but um, it can print very quickly because of the, you know, it, it is a smaller size and the, the physics are just a little bit better for um, printing a really fast, for example, a really fast benchy or something. All right, so one of the challenges with the Voron is that you do need to print, um, it's recommended that you use ABS. So what you can see here while I was waiting on the kit and sourcing the components, um, I went ahead and used my Prusa Mini. Um, luckily it's in an enclosure, but you know, I, I was able to print these out had no issues. Um, you can see I've got black ABS here, and this is a, a green ABS from Inland. And I've kind of got them bagged up. These are This is what's called the top hat, and there's the skirt uh, for the printer. Um, and then this is pretty much everything else. So they do recommend that you, you know, maybe bag this up or, or make it a little bit easier to find your parts. So I'll probably, uh, before I get going with the kit, I'll probably split these into you know, something that I can find easier. These are all the hot end parts. Um, one of the things they recommend is printing different colors. I, I ended up going just with one color because, you know, I figure, eh, it's easier to print one color, um, obviously, other than the, the hot end there. And this is um, a direct drive mini afterburner hot end. One thing that my kit did not come with is the hot end. So I went ahead and bought the uh, Fetus Dragon hot end. I probably didn't pronounce that right, but... Um, it's, it's a really small hot end, similar to the uh, Mosquito from Slice Engineering, but um, you know it, it looks really sharp, and it's designed to fit into the Voron Zero. 